Hello, hello, hello. Autoimmune Prepper here. Welcome back to my channel. Happy Sassy Saturday. Today is the day before Valentine's Day. It's 6.32 p.m. California time. Anyway, today I wanted to talk to you about rodents, gophers. Well, many of you know, if you've been watching my videos, that I'm planning to start an outside garden. And let me tell you something. I am not playing. I am not playing with those rodents. With the Let me correct myself. Well, they are rodents, I guess. But specifically, moles, gophers, squirrels, whatever that is that gets into my backyard. So I went out to Home Depot today, and I mean war. So let me show you what I picked up today from Home Depot to combat these little critters. Now, I did get some good suggestions on some of my other videos on what I should use, and I'm going to keep that in mind. I'm going to get that also. Mothballs was something that was suggested to me. I showed you that I bought garlic plants from the nursery the guy there said that those work but i want to be fully ready for full-on war with these critters because this is my first time doing this gardening thing and i don't need any help with messing it up i can do that all by myself anyway so this is what i picked up today this is called Repels All, Animal Repellent, ready to use. It says it lasts up to two months, and it looks like it repels all kinds of stuff. So this is what this looks like. It says Animal Repellent prevents, prevents grazing, nibbling, chewing, gnawing and browsing damage to plants and property environmentally safe and biodegradable won't harm plants or animals so i'm gonna have my guy spray this around the perimeter of uh, the yard and like maybe right behind it that's the thought and then i saw this this is by Tomcat. It says it gets rid of moles and pocket gophers. Mole and gopher bait. So, this is the other thing that I picked up. Now I'm gonna talk to my, my guy that's helping me to see, should we use all of these, one of these, or none of these. But I paid this money. We're going to use something. And then I bought Gopher Gasser. Gets rid of destructive lawn pests. Pocket gophers, moles, ground squirrels, uh, Norway rats, skunks, woodchucks. So these are some... I don't know, it says gopher, gopher grassers. And it's six in this package, but this is what they look like. But they look like some sticks of, you know. Um, I think what you do is put them down in the hole. Oh yeah, this is what it shows that it does. See down here? So I think you, I guess you put them in a hole, you light it, and you cover the hole up, and I guess it does what it does. So, I don't know. We'll see. You know I'm going to keep you updated, right? So, that's my armory against the gophers or uh, squirrels, whatever that is back there. 
Now, the other thing that I came across as I was in the checkout line, you know, it's always something you see as you're checking out. So I'm checking out of the garden department and I came across these things. These are strawberries, um, non-GMO. These were $3.98. It says that it's a 10-pack. Edible strawberries. Grow your own fresh produce. So I'm going to have him plant these for me. He'll be back on Monday to finish up some stuff. This is what the back of the package looks like. So I'm excited to see what some strawberries are going to look like when I grow. So look like a bag of feels like a bag of soil. It's a clump of something on the inside, but I don't want to open it yet because I don't want to mess it up. I want to open it fresh on Monday and, and have him plant plant it. And then I saw these onion sets. So these are yellow onions. Again, GMO free, same company. It says 80 pack. So I guess it's 80 little onions in here. So, you know, since I'm new to all of this, the less that I have to start from little seedlings, I do have a bunch of seeds. But I saw these and I figure, hmm, since he has that all nicely prepped and everything, maybe we'll, you know, we'll put these in and see how they go. And so this is what the back of this one looks like. So that's the onion. And then I picked up one other thing, seed potatoes, red, white, Red, white, and blue blend. I just thought these were really neat. Look. And so we have a little seed potatoes in here. So these potatoes already have the sprouts growing off of them. And I believe that's what, you know, starts the potato to growing. So I have plenty for him to help me with on Monday. So I'm excited. We're going to plant these. I'm going to pull some of my already growing tomato and other things that are in my arrow garden. And we're going to plant those. So Monday will be a busy day for him. Oh. Now, on a side note, this is something separate. I, I don't want to do a whole nother video just to show you these, but I don't know if you've seen these or not, but I came across these in Walmart uh, maybe about a week ago when I was in there. So these are Insta Fire Starters, military grade, good for campfire, fireplace, cooking, and emergency. No harmful chemicals, eco-friendly, and smokeless. Lights up to four fires, it says. So this is what this looks like. Insta fire. It lights wet wood, burns at nearly 1,000 degrees, burns in winds up to 30 miles per hour, burns on snow and even floats and burns on water. No unexpected flare-ups. It has long burn time. One eighth of a cup will burn five to seven minutes. These have a five year shelf life. They're in a waterproof pouch. No harmful chemicals. They're safe to store near food. Uh, Instafire's ash is a natural fertilizer. It says if the wood is wet, use the entire uh, pouch. <clears throat> so this is the back of the packaging you see him lighting the the instafire so 
Anyway, I picked up they, these were a dollar a piece. So don't think prepping or starting a prep is expensive. It's not. There are several things that are inexpensive that you can get started with today. Again, those came from Walmart and it looks like they'll they'll be pretty good for your uh your prepping uh storage. Anyway, that's all I had to share with you today. I had to come and do a Saturday video with you. Although I'm a little bit tired, but now I'm going to go and jump on over to the live stream. Uh -oh, sorry, that's my mom. I'll call her right back. Jump on over to the live stream. Anyway, I will give you a video on Monday once we've planted everything and just to give you an update and have you follow along. Thank you for watching. If you have any comments or suggestions, again, please feel free to share. If you have any questions, hit me up in the comments section and I'll see you in the next video. And remember to wake up every day and start it with an attitude of gratitude. Bye.